In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the 50-50 pattern on a badminton racket. The 50-50 pattern um, is a two-string, four-knot pattern, and the main string is not any different than a regular um, two-string pattern. So I'm not going to do that here. That's just a regular um, your neck style pattern for mainstream. For the cross string, as the name suggests, um, we're going to do the cross string um, half and half. And what that means is we're going to start at the middle of the cross of the cross string, and then we're going to weave outwards towards the top and the bottom of the racket. The interesting part about this pattern is that it gives a very symmetric string and tensioning to um, the racket. It is a bit more difficult to do, um, especially with a fixed clamp machine. And what I'm going to demonstrate today is a hybrid technique to achieve the 50-50 stringing pattern. What I have here is I have a racket that is already strung with the main string. Also, I have weaved one cro uh, cross string right at the middle. I'm going to do a 22 times 21 pattern, which means there are going to be 21 cross string and 22 main string. The middle of the 21 cross string is exactly 11. This is the 11th string, whether you count from the bottom or from the top. So I have strung the 11th cross string, leaving equal length on both sides. Okay, this is how I'm going to start. There are some extra tools aside from the fixed clamp that we're going to use in this um, technique. We need a starting clamp and we need two flying clamps. Okay, so let's start with clamping the flying clamp. Oh, and the tension I'm going to do on this racket is I have already strung the main string at 28 pounds. And I'm going to do the inner crosses at 30 pounds and then the outer crosses at 28. It will be a somewhat proportional string pattern. Okay, I'm going to just start tensioning this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two string down and then two string up and then two string down and then two string up Okay, I did one string. I'm going to hold this string with the fixed clamp. I'm going to weave one ahead just to take advantage of Soft weave. All right. All right. So far, so good.
Now I'm going to weave upwards. Okay, so I now need to release this fixed clamp. So the way I do it is, I'm sorry, this um, starting clamp. The way I do it is I retension it. Okay, and then I take this clamp off, and I move up one. Alright, now this can be taken off. This is actually kind of loose. Alright. So and then I weave the next string one ahead. attention all right so now the problem arises because what happens here is that I want to clamp the string but I cannot use this clamp because it's all the way on this side and I cannot take this clamp off because well it's holding that string um, the down string so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a flying clamp to hold it for me. All right. So I've done one string, two string, one string. Okay. So I'm going to weave and tension one more. Okay, now we can use this clamp because it's now free. Alright. Now we did we started in the middle string, we've done two on each side. I'm gonna go downwards now. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to weave. Tension. All right. So in here, I run into the same exact problem. Is that I need to clamp this string. I cannot use this fixed clamp, nor can I use this fixed clamp. So I'm going to use a flying clamp to do that. All right. So just one string. Two string tension. And now I can use this other clamp. Okay. And similarly, I'm gonna go upwards now. So I already did one, one, two, one, two. All right, so the procedure continues like this.
So the interesting part is that the rule of thumb is you always switch string after you clamp with the fixed clamp. So the first thing you do is always flying clamp and then fixed clamp. So you switch flying clamp, fixed clamp, you flip, switch. So here it is, this is the flying clamp, first one, and the next string is fixed clamp, on to B first. Fixed clamp. So, um, this is the last one, two, three, four, fourth string. So this is the last string I'm going to be tensioning at thirty. And the rest will be done at 28. Alright, just gonna finish it up here. Just to leave one more. I'm not going to tension it. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So from now on, I'm going to decrease the tension to 28.
and from this point on, um, having a symmetry is really not that much of a deal anymore uh, because the two sides are so far away from each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish it off until the end and not worry about doing two strings and two strings. So I'm going to free up this clamp and this clamp. So I'm just going to do upwards now. I do plan to maintain the symmetry of using a fixed clamp and falling clamp. I believe. Okay, so what I have demonstrated on this video is how to do the hybrid flying clamp and fixed clamp 50-50 pattern on a badminton racket. Uh, 